Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to my video. So, if you guys watched my video on the unboxing of this, I told you guys that I was going to do a review. This video is the review of it, obviously, if you guys are looking, for, looking at the title of it. So, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, we will be... We will see how long this cord is. Um, so, we're going to check out how long this cord is. Uh, like, I, like I told you guys, I had considered between this and the wagon. Uh, and uh, I chose this because here's why I chose this instead of the wagon. Now, originally I was going to buy the wagon, but I went on YouTube, we went on Amazon, I read the reviews on Amazon on the wagon and this, and uh, they both had pretty much similar reviews. Um, so, so it was a it was a toss up between this and and the wagon. I didn't choose. I didn't look at any other models. Because as far as 12 volt uh, wrenches are concerned, impact wrenches are concerned, these were two of the probably the most well known uh, that's up. As, as far as I know, these are the two well, most well known impact wrenches that I saw on on on, on Amazon, and uh, I was looking at. Uh, yeah, I went through a couple of pages, and there were a couple other impact wrenches, but you know the other ones did not have the amount of uh, uh, reviews or um, or or reviews on YouTube. So, so what made a difference? This was ten dollars less. Uh, I believe the wagon was around sixty. This was fifty. Whichever it was, it was like ten dollars less. So this is a cheaper. This is this was cheaper than the wagon, but this wasn't. The, that wasn't the reason why I decided on getting this instead of the wagon. Uh, originally, I had liked the wagon a lot better, but but uh, I went on YouTube and apparently the Kawasaki had a lot more reviews than the wagon. It had a lot more reviews than the wagon, and that's why I chose the Kawasaki. Also, I didn't like that the wagon. Uh, there were a lot of complaints about the wagon not working if you actually pressed it against the uh, pressed it against the tire, pressed it against the bolt. So you're supposed to just put it, lay it on there, and, and just uh, let it do its, do its thing. I didn't see any issues with the Kawasaki. Not that that would be an issue, but I, I don't, you know, I saw so many complaints about that. that I was like, you know what? That's just a weird issue to have, a weird complaint to have. So, so you know, I I chose this uh, as a result of all those reasons. I believe the wagon had a longer line. I'm not sure. Uh, they they should be similar, but uh, we'll see. So it's I plugged it into my cigarette lighter in my car. I have a Nissan Altima, so I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna show you guys how long this line is. All right. So we are. This is the back tire, and this is the back tire, and you got a lot of a lot a lot of line left. All right, guys. This is the front tire. Obviously, you're gonna have a lot of line left because, uh, you know, the cigarette lighter is in the front. So, I'm not gonna do the other side because obviously, you know how this works. Uh, it's gonna be the same. So it's, I don't know exactly how long this line is, but it's got a lot of, it's pretty long. It's long enough for the front tire. It's long enough for the uh, back tire, with a lot more, uh, with a lot more line left lack of a better word probably with a lot more line left so a that's that's awesome uh, I originally had bought um, uh, you know I bought this this comes separate so I'm gonna use this uh, just in case uh, it doesn't have enough power but uh, I also bought a, a 12 volt line extender and I'm not gonna be needing that at all so it's got a lot of so it's I don't know how many feet of line it is but you know you know good you know good so okay so what's next so what's next we're gonna try this out and uh, actually uh, as far as the uh, the adapt is concerned all right so interesting thing is that you know uh, these are double-sided adapters so they have different uh, you know what let me see I think let me see I think they're like you could flip the adapters and the they'd be like different sizes so that's okay that's so that's one side 
and uh, so that's the other side so yeah so there uh, there's different sizes there's one two three four four different sizes for you know you guys have four different lug nuts it's four different sizes so all right so we got that issue taken care of um, what's next is we're gonna try this out okay uh, we're gonna try this out different ways uh, I don't know if you know the 12 volt on my car has enough power to work this um, without it being on but I'm gonna show you guys how much power this has without uh, without the car on and I'm gonna show it show you guys with the car on and I'm gonna connect it directly to the battery just in case uh, we need more power uh, I'm not sure all right so I'm gonna show okay my car is off all right I'm gonna show how well this works with just the 12 volt uh, connected to the battery and um, and these uh, these these lug nuts uh, last time I had the tire changed so these were used these were put in with um, with you no know, regular uh, wrenches from the shop so um, so we'll see how this works I don't know how much Ah, all right, so I got in and this is forward got forward. So let's see So apparently Okay guys, so as you guys can see it's not turning on I don't think there's enough power going to It's connected. It's you know, but I'm not getting any kind of power. So I don't think there's enough uh, power just off the 12 volt that's in my car right now. So we're gonna switch try it with uh, the uh, The car on All right guys, so I got my car on And it does work with the uh, so you can't just plug it in um, I don't know what kind of what uh, how many watts is coming out of my car uh, coming out of my uh, cigarette socket without the car on but um on a Nissan Altima, uh, that cigarette socket you kind of need. They're gonna need the car at least on to get this to work, which is not a big issue. All you gotta do is turn the car on and and uh, you know and, and use it. So we're gonna see if just having the car on off that cigarette lighter will loosen this nut, get it off. And it did its job guys so it took the nut off uh, I really don't need to plug it in uh, to the battery but I'm just gonna do it anyway just to see how much more power uh, it has I, I don't think it's gonna do much make, make much of a difference but uh, I think it took like five five whatchamacallits you know five revolutions or whatever for the hammer to hit uh, the bolt just to get it off which is not bad guys um, which is not bad, but uh, all right, I'm gonna see if I hook it up to the battery, uh, whether you know it, it, it has it's uh, it gets more juice uh, on this on this um, on this impact wrench. So, you guys see the setup? I set the you know, it, it's connected to the battery. Uh, let's see if it gets more juice with uh. Got that off. So, um, my car's off, it's connected to the battery. Got that off. So, see, again, that's not, all right, so I have these different size lug nuts, so, uh, and uh, I should actually standardize all my lug nuts, guys. But uh, I'm gonna have to switch these up a couple, couple of these up just to see what lug nuts this is I mean, what size this is let me see if this is the size that's that's the right size I just didn't put it in enough all right that is the right size I think all right guys so let me just do this uh, forward ah.
I don't know if that's the right size lug nut, guys. I don't know. Let me Sorry about that, guys. That was the wrong size lug nut. So... So, it managed to get that off. I have, like, different size lug nuts, which sucks. I'm going to standardize these lug nuts. This was, a, this was not the right size, so that's why I didn't get it off. And I hope I didn't screw this one up, too. I hope I didn't strip this. That just really sucks, man. But, uh... What else? All right, guys. So that's my. That's how we're. You know, it. So far, uh, I'm giving this a thumbs up. Uh, I'm giving this a thumbs up because uh, it worked. Um, it worked. It took that the the uh, the, the bolts off. It took the bolts off. So. So I'm gonna give this guy. I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I mean, I ha I haven't actually uh, used. Let me just put it back in. I guess. I don't think I need to do that, but let me see if I could just, that's not the right one. All right, guys, so, all right, so we're on the fly here. I'm gonna put this back and see, you know, whether I have it on reverse. So, it's in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna, use this on you know other parts of my cars um you know whatever else i'm working on stuff like that but uh, as far as you know doing this job of you know taking the, the uh, lug nuts off the wheels uh i'm gonna give this a thumbs up it really did work and uh yeah kawasaki uh right now uh this is my first use i'm gonna give this a uh, five out of five uh it works you know, I, I don't really, these lug nuts were put in, uh, last time I changed my tires, so uh, I was put in with uh, shop lug nuts, so Kawasaki, five stars, if you guys want to get um, a good uh, 12 volt uh, impact wrench, this is this is pretty decent guys, alright, and uh, the fact that it's $10 cheaper than, uh, than the next best thing out there was the wagon. I, I think uh, this is the one to get. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, give me a thumbs up. If you guys like it? You know, subscribe. If you guys got comments on this? Uh, you know, leave your comments in the comment section. Ask me some questions. Whatever you guys want to do. All right. Take care.